Good morning, Southwest Florida. This Naples Herald Morning Report is sponsored by Conditioned Air, the comfort people since 1962. I'm Janelle Simmons. Today we have baseball spring training, a vetoed bill, and more. Today is Thursday, March 3rd, and this is the Morning Report. Good news for my baseball fans, it is officially spring training season. Both housed in Fort Myers, Florida throughout spring training, the Minnesota Twins and the Boston Red Sox will play a total of six games against one another. For the storylines to watch as the two neighboring clubs meet in the coming days, visit Tyler Mosher's story. South Dakota's governor vetoed a bill Tuesday that would have made the state the first in the U.S. to approve a law requiring transgender students to use bathrooms and locker rooms that match their sex at birth. Republican Governor Dennis DeGard, who initially reacted positively to the proposal, but said he needed to research the issue, rejected the bill after groups such as the American Civil Liberties Union and the Human Rights Campaign insisted it was discriminatory. In his veto message, DeGard said the bill does not address any pressing issue and that such decisions were best left to local school officials. He also noted that signing the bill could create costly liability issues for schools and the state. The ACLU had promised to encourage legal action if the bill became law. Given the substantial role water plays in our bodies functioning properly, one of the most effective things a person can do to improve and maintain his or her overall health is to consistently drink enough unpolluted water to stay hydrated. To learn more about such benefits, visit Naples Herald. That was the Morning Report for today. I'm Janelle Simmons. The Morning Report airs Monday through Friday at 8 a.m. right here at NaplesHerald.com. And don't forget to check out our lunch break. That also airs Monday through Friday at 12 p.m. Thank you for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.